Hi, this is Munson from Munson Music, and we're talking about how you can play a song called We Are by Big Time Rush. And it starts out with a really cool little piano hit where you, and we're going to end up capoing this on second fret uh, for this lesson. But we start out with a piano hit playing open B, and then second fret on the G string, and then open B, and then second fret on the G string. And if you wanted to, actually, that first part is around a G major chord, actually, where you have first finger on the A string, second, second finger on the low E string, third, third finger on the high E string on the third. And that's called G major. It sounds really, really happy. And then that next part, though, is actually kind of backed up by a C major chord. And when we play C major, first finger goes to the B on the first fret, second finger on the D string on the second fret, and third finger on the A string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a C major chord. So what you could do to kind of back up that piano lick is kind of play the bass notes, actually, or the name of the, the that, those chords to back them up. So you could start third fret on the low E string with the open B, and then with the second fret on the G, and I'm kind of doing that hybrid picking where I'm using my pick for my basses and a finger to kind of play the, the string. And then when the C chord changes, we could go to third fret on the A string and kind of do that with the open B, and then do the three and two together at the same time. So if you wanted to, that might be kind of a cool way to kind of intro the tune, actually, is kind of using that as kind of a two part. And then from there, actually, or, or another way to play the intro, actually, to strum through it, would just be doing the G major chord twice and then going to the C major chord twice. And what I like to kind of fill time on a song like this is something called a strum pattern. One of my favorite strum patterns is a down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the G and just tried that a lot. We have down, down, up, up, down. through our intro, we'd have G with a down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, up. And then from there, we'd be going into our verse part. And our verse starts on G major, and we do another G major, and then we go to C major, and then we do another C major. But then we go to an E minor chord, and we play E minor, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret, second finger on the D string on the second fret. If you strum all those together, that sounds like E minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the E minor, we're going to go into D major. When we play D major, first finger is going to go to the G on the second fret, second finger on the high E string on the second fret, and third finger on the B string on the third fret. And if you kind of strum just the D, G, B, D, that'll get your clearest sound, and it's called D major. And then from the D major, we go back to C major, and then we do another C major. So we try our first with our strum pattern, we have G with a down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up. chorus actually we have some faster changes going from G major to C major to E minor and then D major. So we try our chorus with our strum pattern. We'd have G with a down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, minor, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, minor, down. on the G major actually kind of between that chorus and our next verse but then we're repeating our verse repeating our chorus form until we get to our bridge part and on our bridge part we play a C major and then a G major and then a D major and then we go back to E minor so we try to bridge with our strum pattern we have C with a down down up up down G down down up up down D down down up up down E minor down our song. Now the weird part is to play along with Big Time Rush, instead of starting on a G major chord, they actually start on an A major chord. So what you want to do to play along with the recording is take a capo, and if you put the capo on 2nd fret, then now your G major is really an A major chord, your C major is really a D major chord, your E minor is really an F sharp minor, and your D major is really an E major chord. So we tried our, uh, from the very beginning that way with our down, down, up, up, down, we, ha we could kind of start out with our intro lick actually. If we wanted to, kind of that three and open, two and open, kind of, or three and two kind of idea. Or we could just strum through that and have G with a down, down, up, up, down, and G down, down, up. those notes 
notes that happen in the lick with the chord too. And then from there we'd be going to the verse. So then we have our G with down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, C, G, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up. So we have to do the down, down, up. So we got kind of G major with down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, up. Now for myself, I'd be really tempted to kind of throw in the, the, those intro licks for the G major. And then from there, we'd be going into our next verse. Now one other thing I would think about adding to the song is bass notes. And a lot of times on the first down, at the down, down, up, up, down, up, you can throw in a bass note for the chord. So on the G chord, you can do a low string for your bass and then keep your down, up, up, down. So you got bass, down, up, up, down, G, three, bass, down. You have the A string for your bass. So see with an A bass down, up, up, down. See with an A bass down, up, up, down. On the E minor, you have the low E string for the bass. So the e bass down, up, up, down. E minor, low E bass down, up, up, down. You got the D to the D bass down, up, up, down. D to the D bass down, up, up, down. Up. So you want to think about that to kind of simulate playing with a bass player if you're doing a solo. So we tried our verse part that way. We'd have G with low E bass down, up, up, down. G with low E bass down, up, up, down. C with an A bass down, up. Kind of 
this big hit on a G chord, and you may want to kind of hit the guitar or, or hit the chord, and kind of take your right hand and just kind of kill the strings with it, the G down, kill it, kind of idea. And then you pick it back up on the E minor, and you can even do that with the basses if you wanted to. So you back the G with the bass, down, up, up, down, C with the A bass, down. That's the basics of how you can strum through We Are by Big Time Rush. Great suggestion. So, good luck!